We have been married for five years this August. Last year, we welcomed our very first child, Kalia Joy, into this world, um, who also has a rare genetic syndrome called Pfeiffer syndrome. It's where the sutures of the skull prematurely fuses. And it's so rare that it's one in 100,000. When the doctor sat us down and gave us her diagnosis and kind of what the future could look like, there was this unknown. There was a lot of unknown. Right away as she's born, she started crying right after she came out, which was a great sign because she was getting all, all the air out and all the, the liquid out of her lungs, but then she stopped breathing. As a parent and as a first time parent and as someone who's just overwhelmed with emotions, I didn't know how to feel. All I know was that I was gonna be attached to her anywhere she went. It was like day one that we got reunited as a family and the doctor came into the hospital room and he kind of shared the trajectory of surgeries. But the first one we couldn't do until she gained some weight. So she was so small. And to think that they're gonna do a craniectomy, like I literally went home and like looked it up and just like, you're gonna open my baby skull. And it was those hard moments of knowing that the surgery was gonna be the best thing for her, but having to see her get wheeled away. You become a parent and you feel like you can protect your child from all of these things, and that was quickly taken away from us. As new parents, and as parents of a medically complex child, there's no manual for any of this stuff. We spent about five and a half months in the hospital, from the NICU to the floor. We connected with Kindering early on from the hospital when we were getting ready to discharge. We had PT in the hospital, which really helped Callie. And they shared that once we got home, that we'd also have some services in home. And this was such a, a new process for us both of trying to just get home and get acclimated and to find out that we were gonna have some resources that were gonna help Callie hit those milestones with like, whew. What's so beautiful about Kindering is they come up with a, a full plan. Keep coming, keep coming. So one of the big milestones that we were working on is for Callie to sit up and then stand and then walk. And the fact that here she is at 15 months, sitting up, standing, and taking steps is amazing. But Kindering has taught me that for all those steps, for her to get there, there's exercises and there's baby steps to get there. The fact that we've been able to keep it fun, make it a game, she has no idea that what she's doing is actually building towards the goals that we're trying to accomplish, but she just thinks it's just hanging out with mom and dad. Kenring not only came in with this great plan, but they're invested in my daughter and every single milestone that, that she is reaching for and she's hitting and will continue to reach. They always say it takes a village to raise a child. We just thought our village was gonna be our parents, our family and friends. We did not realize that our village would be kindering, our nurses, doctors. And so it's, it's a different village, but it's the village that it takes to get Callie to where she needs to be and to excel.